Hey there everyone, this is John with Simplice and I'm going to walk you through how to create a custom navigation in Simplice. So let's head on over to the Customize tab. Let's then jump on over to the Navigations options. And you'll see I don't have any navigations. Currently I only have the one that I've started out with by default. Um, I can click this Add Navigation button to create a new one, or I can modify the existing one here. But let's just uh, click Add Navigation here so we can try a new layout. I'll click Add Navigation, and you'll see we have this whole list of presets of different layout options for our nav bar. Um, some of these you may not see if you have just a simply single license. So um, these are last four are simply studio so you won't see these if you're on a single license um, let's just go with the standard logo on left option and here's our default non-styled nav bar um, i can give it uh, an internal display name call it my new nav bar um, i also have the option to set a nice little preview so this is handy if you're working you want to see how your nav bar would look for a dark page background. Um, I can also then make this the default nav bar. And then you also have the option to write in a text logo. Um, you can also set the color and font for this. Uh, but let's jump on over to image here. And you can use PNG or SVG for your logo. Uh, we recommend SVG just so it's the highest quality vector. Um, I've got a white Simply logo here. Um, and you'll see there's options to adjust the width, uh, but it's actually hard to see what's going on here. So I'm going to set a background color for my nav bar here. I'm going to just make it black. And there we go. Now we can see a little bit better what's going on. Um, if I go back here and adjust the width of the logo, you can see it's getting larger and smaller. And then uh, you also have the option to uh, give a vertical margin to the logo to offset it. And as more of an advanced feature, you can also paste in your logo as SVG raw code. Um, if you plan on doing customizations to the logo, that's handy. Um, I can also adjust the alignment of the logo. You also have the option, if I, let's move this out of the way a little bit so we can see What's going on a little bit better. Um, I can set my nav bar to fluid so it's no longer contained to my grid. Um, I can then add some horizontal padding to space it out as needed. I'll switch it back to grid here. You also have the option to set the nav bar to be sticky. If set to sticky, it'll just be pinned to the top of your browser. So as you scroll, you'll always see the nav bar. You have a couple other spacing options here. Um, you can also increase the overall height of the nav bar. So if I give this a lighter background, you can see a little bit better what's going on here. I'll just give it a charcoal gray. And I'll, you can see now the nav bar is adjusting. We'll put it back to black. You can also set opacity to the nav bar's background. And then the last two options in this section is you can make the background color of the nav bar transparent if it's in a cover section. You can also have the nav bar background visible when in overlay mode. And jumping on over to the menu area, here's where I can edit the actual menu stylings. Um, right here. The first option is the text or hamburger. So if I set this to hamburger, um, the hamburger will always display. Right now you can't see it, but I'll set a hamburger color here. Okay, now we can see our hamburger and uh, you can just toggle between those if you want the hamburger to always show or just have the text menu items for desktop. You can then set some custom font stylings here.
You also have some different options here to adjust the spacing between the menu items. And lastly, we have the mobile hamburger fallback option. If this is set to disabled, then the hamburger will never show up even for smaller devices. I'll just see my regular text menu links. Um, down here, lastly, we have the mouse over options. So it's just gonna set a hover effect on my menu links. And then we'll jump on over to the overlay mobile. So this is the, the overlay menu that's triggered when the hamburger is clicked for mobile devices. Um, I'll just set a background color here so you can see what that looks like. Um, I'll set a lighter color for the menu link. Go with white, and I'll customize the fonts here. And you know, you just see once again we have like hover options, and there's there's different ways you can style this to your liking. Um, and one last really neat feature is this responsive icon in the lower left. If I select this, I can preview how my nav bar would look. Um, depending on various device widths and make adjustments as needed. So you can see I have some different options. I can adjust the width of the logo and any adjustments I make while viewing this particular device width will only affect that device width. So um, for example, I can also change the height of the nav bar and it would only be the size for the device I've selected. If I go down to mobile here, I can adjust the logo for mobile only. I'll just make some quick adjustments to the overlay menu here. All right. I think it's looking pretty good. I'll save this out for as my new nav bar. Go back to desktop. And if I jump on over to my pages, and if I go over to my pages now and I click in my page settings area, I can then choose the nav bar I created from this list and that is the nav bar that will display for that particular page. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And as always, keep rocking, rocking, rocking with some please.